Welcome back to this series of Light Reading Conversations. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading. Joining me now is Sophie Legault, Expo's Director of Transport and Datacom Business Unit. Sophie, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Terry. Hi, nice to be here. Uh, our topic is uh, deploying 5G considerations for future networks. Uh, so a, a lot to talk about here, obviously. Um, when rolling out 5G, you have new spectrum bands and advanced technologies to consider. Why don't we start if you could identify some of the new requirements and technologies that will be key for delivering 5G for mobile operators? Yeah, so we're, we're really entering a, a historical cycle of, of intra infrastructure investment in both wireline and wireless. And, and as 5G is, is scaling to volume, uh, significant capacity is being added to the network. And, and, and with the C-band and CBRS auctions completed, uh, we're really at the beginning of the, of the massive 5G mid-band rollouts. And with that comes really an unseen level of, of fiber infrastructure spending and, 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 and to connect all, everything together and provide more bandwidth. And if we look at it from um, the front hall and the, the mid hall parts of the mobile network, there's a very important densification of that, that part of the network. There's a need to connect more cell sites, more radios, more cells, uh, small cells, uh, and that typically they're connected via the front hall and, and the mid hall to the centralized uh, RAN hubs. And these connections are increasing in, in speed. So they're, they're going to 10 gig, they're going to 25 gig. And in turn, this densification also has a direct impact on, on the backhaul portion of, of, the, of the network for aggregation layers. And those are being upgraded to even higher speed, it's like 100 gig and 400 gig. So in addition with, with 5G, operators are, are looking to support advanced use, use cases as we know. For, and for those uh, low latency, high reliability, and those will all be critical. And, and service level agreements uh, are gonna be much more stringent. Um, and that brings uh, the need for um, what I would say more deterministic performance of things like bandwidth, latency, jitter, uh, frame loss, and support for new technologies for, for synchronization uh, like uh, 1588 PTP. There's a big evolution of the of, of the front hall network to support all that. Uh, it brings in new technologies like eCIPRI, as I mentioned, uh, PTP, uh, and others. And and that's really the transport side of it. Uh, now, if you look at the RF environment, that's also uh, really becoming more complex using multiple new technologies like like massive MIMO, uh, beam forming, active antennas. Uh, so overall, a lot of new technologies uh, requiring requiring increased speed. So it, it's it's a much more complex environment for for mobile operators. Thanks for that. That's actually really great context setting for the infrastructure side of of I think what we're addressing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, on top of that, though, mobile operators have to validate their 5G deployments um, efficiently and accurately for the, the entire life cycle, including planning, activation, turn up, troubleshooting, maintenance, a, a lot to consider there. Talk about some of the key challenges that operators will face as they go through that. Um, well, as, as they've always done so, it, it's, it's critical for the mobile operators to, to ensure network quality reliability and, and availability when, when they're deploying these new uh, 5G services. And, and what's very challenging right now is, is, is the actual pace at which these, these deployments have to happen. They need to roll out multiple new technologies which requires trained and qualified uh, workforce. And all of this has to, to be accomplished while minimizing the, the operate, operational costs, obviously. And, and so to support this, um, it's essential that the mobile operators have, have the proper tools and the methods and procedures. Uh, these me methods that supported by tools that are simple, automated and cover all the key technologies. If I take uh, one concrete example, uh, for, for example, one challenge for the mobile operators and contractors is how to make sure that uh, a radio unit is working properly at installation and, and that all beams are being transmitted correctly. And, and 
not always all the pieces of the network are there at day one to be able to just validate that with the mobile phone. So tools like uh, RF spectrum analyzers uh, can demodulate the 5G and RF signal and, and confirm proper transmission and, and see if all the beams are being transmis transmitted or not. Uh, also, for example, um, uh, for NSA architecture, so non-standalone, 5G depends a lot on 4G. And poor 4G experience will translate directly into poor 5G experience. And again, it's important for uh, to make sure that the cell sites are not affected by out, outside uh, parameters like PIM or RF interference. And again, tools like uh, IORF or RF over CIPRI or real-time spectrum analyzer um, can ensure good performance of, of the 5G network. Um, and maybe another example uh, is around network synchronization, which, which there's new technology for 5G, uh, like uh, 1588 PTP, uh, that operators around the world are deploying. And, and network sync is, is, uh, works really well when it's well engineered and, and when it's configured right the, 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 the first day, but it typically uh, in the past, that's what happened. It, sync was one of those things that they would just deploy and, and forget about. But now that we're looking at packet-based sync, it's, it's quite new to many operators and, and 5G needs much more stringent timing accuracy, uh, the, you know, in the nanoseconds in some cases to support TDD technology, advanced carrier aggregation or comp and, and identifying the source of a timing issue is not simple and, and, and you know, between a defective piece of equipment, uh, configuration issues or excess packet delay variation, even network asymmetry, it, it's not a simple task and timing issues can easily uh, lead to degradation of, of the RF performance. So it's quite challenging for mobile operators to, to na navigate this complexity and, and find qualified personnel to accomplish uh, the work while accelerating the deployment. So they're they're really turning to their technology partners to to provide solutions that that will help them with that. I mean, I think you 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 hit the nail on the head with talking about managing complexity. This, this sounds like lots of moving parts here, lots of interlocking pieces that uh, don't necessarily always um, know what the others are doing. With all that in mind, how how do you imagine network operators being able to accomplish all this? It's not simple, but uh, you know, one of the key lessons uh, learned is, is that operators need to have the proper method and procedures, the right test procedures, uh, and, and that have been adapted for these new technologies, these new 5G technologies for, for operation and teams and, and also for their contractors. Um, they need pr procedures and test solutions that will help them accelerate the deployment. And to do that, they need tools that have basically no learning curve uh, that can evolve with the technology uh, that they're deploying and, and most important integrated uh, to support all their requirements. And finally, one key thing, it, it's no longer just about you know, the tools and, and, and what they're capable of, but because of the speed at which these deployments have to take place, automation of the tools and the procedures becomes essential. So, Mobile operators really need to track in real time the progress of the work and, and its quality. And this for their own technicians, but also for the contractors, for their subcontractors. And this is why you know, cloud integration of, of the tools and the procedures is, is now mandatory. It's really about automation, visibility uh, of the work and simplifying uh, the deployment. Well, great stuff, Sophie. Thanks for helping us make more sense out of the complexity of 5G. Appreciate you joining us today. Thank you very much. We've been talking with Sophie Legault of Expo. This has been Terry Sweeney with Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this conversation. We'll see you next time.